this place right now and it's falling. See, earlier this week, I saw a weather report that said there's a change coming in our weather. There's going to be a cold front. It's going to bring cooler weather. I anticipate that by the same way. Earlier this week, I was praying, us, particularly on Wednesday night. We had a very special time of prayer in this room about today. And as I walked around this room, I said, Lord, blow in this place on Sunday morning. I feel the wind of the Holy Spirit. Why? Because at the name of Jesus, every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that he's Lord. I don't care what is going on in the world right now. It doesn't matter all the voices that are speaking because there's a day coming. Every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Now I feel like we're in a pretty good position this morning in this room, sensing and feeling the presence of the Holy Spirit. But I'm also reminded that this week could have brought a heavy burden, maybe serious situations, things that are going on in your life in our lives that drive us to the place where we're calling upon the name of Jesus. The good news this morning is He hears and He answers our prayers. And I want you to just raise both hands right now, if you will. If you're uncomfortable, do it and you'll get comfortable. <laughs> Why? Because I believe a fresh rain is going to fall on you right now. And as you lift your hands, I want you to give Him the burden the weight, the thing that you have been struggling with in your life, the things that have been oppressing you, because you see His name will drive out and drive away and remove from your life all of the weightiness that the enemy would bring against you. Lord, we need your presence right now. Sent your presence, Father, and all across this room as we raise our hands to acknowledge you as King of kings and Lord of lords. Father, we recognize today that you have already supplied. You have already given to us all the things that we need. Lord, I pray for the one, God, who is lifting up to you right now a financial burden a burden that has overwhelmed them. Lord, I pray you would remove fear today over that burden and faith would arise to trust you that you are a good father and that you can and you will supply every need that they have according to your riches and glory. Father, I pray that each one, God, those who are struggling, Father, in, in any kind of financial way, that their faith would be in you. And Lord, that they would be obedient to your word, even to the point of stepping out to trust you in a greater dimension, in a greater way to say, Father, I will bring to you my tithe. I'll bring to you my offerings, Lord. I don't know how I'm going to make it, but you do because your word says you will supply my needs. Father, I pray over the one, God, who has received a report that their health is in desperate need of a divine intervention of Jesus Christ. Father, you've already paid the price. By your stripes, Lord Jesus, they are healed in Jesus' name. And I pray for faith to receive the healing, to stand on your word. It's not what I see. It's what I know. And I know that you honor your word. Father, you said in your word that when we pray according to your will, thank you for removing cancer. I thank you for healing backs right now in Jesus' name. Lord, I thank you for miraculous healings. God, and at this point, we must say we are grateful and thankful for the many reports, the healings that we've been able to share with this congregation. That you, through your 
your miraculous power at work in our lives. Lord, I won't be satisfied. I'm going to keep knocking and seeking and asking for every need, for every situation. God, I pray over families right now. God, situations that without your intervention. God, I pray over our hearts and our lives that we would open ourselves up to you to receive instruction from your word and courage to walk out what we know and receive according to your word. Lord, I just pray that you will bless, you will guide, and you will keep each and every individual in this place. Lord, I pray that our hearts are continually turned towards you and that nothing will separate us from you and your love.